All right, so good morning and welcome to today's class. Now, in today's class, we shall be looking at the numeracy mock questions we solved the last time. Now, this time around, I would join you and then present to you the solutions so that you can really understand the questions you did not really understand very well and be able to know how such questions are posed and how to be able to answer them so that henceforth you'll be able to by your own self tackle any question that you are given in regards to the topics that were considered for the numeracy mock so let's get started while sorting some change into piggy banks john put five In the first piggy bank, then in the second he puts 10, in the third he puts 20, in the fourth he puts 40. If this pattern continues, how many coins John put in the fifth piggy bank? Question mark. So now let us try to identify what pattern it's been used in this question. Now, from 5 to 10. Now, from 5 to 10, we realize it was what? Times 2. So, 5 times 2 would give us 10. Now, between 10 and 20, it was equally times 2. Now, from 20. 40, you can also see it was what times 2. Now, with this, we are able to establish the fact that whenever we are moving from one number to the other, we simply multiply the previous number by 2. Therefore, we are able to predict that between or from 40 to the next number, which is the question mark we don't know, is likely to be what times 2. So we can therefore say for the fifth number is going to be 40 times 2, which in turn will give us what? 80. So now let's come to the question itself. How sorted some piggy banks into John put 5 into the, the next you put 10, the next you put 20, the next you put 40. How many will he put in the three piggy bank? And you know the answer is what? 80. So 80. That's the answer. Second. Tyler's Bakery is getting more and more orders for blackberry pies. The bakers are three. The bakers make, made three black so they made three that was in december now in january they made nine in february they made 27 in march they made 81 now the question says if this pattern continues how many blackberry pies will the bakery make in april that is the following month now, we don't know how many they will make in the following months. However, let us establish the pattern that is being used here. So now, let's see. From three, from three to nine, what are you seeing? I'm seeing times three. From nine, to 27, I'm equally seeing times 3. From 27 to 81 is equally times 3. Now, from this, we are able to establish the fact that whenever you're moving from one number to the other number, that is what times 3. Therefore, we can say that when you're moving from 81 to the next number, that will be in the following month, April. It is likely to be what? 81 times 3. 
Now let's see. 8 times 3 is 24. 1 times 3 is 3. So we have 2, 4, 3. Now let's go through our answers. A we have 266, B we have 243, C we have 675, D we have 144. So the answer is simply one, B. Now let's move to the third question. Now while sorting, uh, while sorting some buttons, let's see put, first he put four in the first box, in the next he puts five, in the next he puts 8, in the next he puts 13, in the next he puts 20. Now if this pattern continues, how many buttons will Leslie put in the C's box? Now let's look out for the C's box. Okay, so now let's identify the number pattern here. Now from 4 to 5, what do you realize? From 4 to 5, I'm seeing plus 1. Between 5 and 8, what are you seeing? I'm seeing plus 3. Between 8 and 13, I am seeing plus 5. 13 and 20, I'm seeing plus 7. So from 20 up to this point, what would be the difference or be the change? Now, Unlike the previous questions we solved, we had a constant running through. But this time around, when we look at the question, uh, what we have here, we have in different numbers. So here, it was one, and it moved to three. What do you see? I see increase by two. It was three here, it moved to five. What do you see? I see increase by what two. It was five here, it moved to seven, increased by what, by two. Now, this is providing me a clue that if you are moving to the next number, it was going to be what? 7 plus 2, which would be what? 9. Therefore, I can say on authority that when we move from 20, the next number is going to be the 20 plus 9, which will give me what? 29. So when it go to answers, we have what? A to what? 29. Now another way out from on this very question is, now I realize that the numbers from 4 to 5 it was an increase by what? 1. 5 to 8 it was what? By 3. This is by 5. This is by 7. You realize we are increasing them with what? Odd numbers. So all numbers from 1, 3, 5, 7, the next what would be 9. So any approach you use would equally give you the same result. Number 4. While organizing a DVD collection, Whitney put 41 DVDs in the first track. So the first track, she put 41. In the next, she put 46. In the next, she put 51. In the next, she put 56. The next she put 61. Now if this continues, how many will she put in the C's track? So now we have our numbers 41 to 46. Now what do you see from 41 to 46? Now from 41 we're moving to 46. I'm seeing plus 5. From 46, I'm seeing plus 5. From 51 to 56, I'm seeing plus 5. From 60, 56 to 61, I'm equally seeing plus 5. Now this tells that the constant, the var the only thing that is changing, causing the change in numbers what is plus 5. Therefore, we can see that from 61, moving to the next number, would be what 61 plus 5. And that will give us what 66. So we go through our answers, we have A to be what 66, B to be what 67. C 63 and then D to be 68. So our answer is A. Number 5. Now a teacher is handing out note cards to her students. She gives three. 
to the first, four to the second, seven to the third, twelve to the fourth, nineteen to the fifth. Now, if this continues, how many would she give to the seed students? So we have. Three to four, that is plus one. We have from four to seven, we have plus three. Here we have plus five. Here we have plus seven. So here is likely to be what? Now we saw a similar question that had this very pattern. So here was plus nine because you realize the numbers are increasing by two by two by two each. So the next number is going to be 19 plus 9, which will give us what? 28. So 28 is what? Option B. Now, my back has a plot of tomato plants. There are two tomato plants in the first row, 6 in the second, 18 in the third, 54. In the fourth, if this continues, how many will be in the fifth row? Now let's examine the pattern from two to six is what times three, from six to eighteen is equally times three, eighteen fifty four is equally times three. Now this is simple, so now from fifty four to the next number is likely to be what also times three. So therefore, let us find. 54 times 3. So 3, 4 would give you 12, so 2 remainder 1. 5 by 3 would give us 15 plus 1, that's 16. So now going through our answers, we have 1, 6, 2 to do our option D. Now I said, did you spend 2.5? To buy apples. And 1.6 to buy grapes. On which fruits did she spend the least? On which fruits? So emphasis on the fruit she spent the least. Now apple is taking 2.5, grapes 1.6. So it tells you grapes is the food she spent the least on. So the answer is C. Number eight, 1.4 kg of apples. So here we have 1.4 kg plus and 1.02 oranges were bought from a shop. Find the total weight. So we have plus 1.02 kg. Now you realize the first question has one decimal place. It has only one decimal place. That is where the 1.4 has one decimal place. But the second has two decimal places. So what do we do in this situation? Now, let us write the addition well. So let's put all of them in two decimal places. You can see 1.40 plus 1.02 okay so let's add 2 plus 0 is 2 4 plus 0 is 4 we bring our decimal point then 2 1 plus 1 is what 2 so we have 2.42 that is option D now number nine, Kitty ate two fifth of a pizza. So she ate two fifth of the pizza. That is, she ate two over five of the pizza. How much percentage of pizza was eaten by Kitty? So simply multiply by 100. Now five goes here, one, five goes here, 20. Two by 20 would give us what? 40%. Now, looking through the question, the answer was not provided. So, 
the correct answer in this case is 40. Uh -huh. So, but you didn't have that in the uh, options. Now, number 10. There are 12 months in a year. Sorry, the 12 months in a year are as follows. January, February, March, April, May, June, July, August, September, October, November, December. Question. Find the probability that a person is born in a man that ends with er so now a question on probability now you know probability is given by the formula n of what possible outcomes over the number of what the total now in this case our possible outcomes are months that ends with what er so what are the months that ends with ER? Now I know we have September, we have October, we have November, and we have December. Now, what is the number of outcomes? When we have to number them, we have one, two, three, and four. So we can say that the number of outcomes, the N, of outcomes is equal to what four now n of total is the end of all the end of total all the months in the year so we have january february march april may june july august september october november and then december so 12 so the N of the total months is what? 12. So we have 4 on 12, which we can simplify and have now 4 going to solve 1, 4 goes here, also 3. So we can have our final answer to what? 1 on 3, because there isn't a number that can equally divide, that can divide 4 and 3. Now looking into the options, we have what? 1 over 3 to be what? D and that is the answer. Though you still have 4 on 3 over here, 4 on 12, but in this case you choose the most simplified of the answers. Now we have gone through 10 of these questions. We have 10 more to go. Now I'm going to give you some time. As I move to the next questions, I allow you some time, then you try it on your own. So let's see. Now question 11. A pet shop sells dogs and cats only. There are 24 animals for sale, out of which 10 are cats. So there are 24 animals. Of these animals, 10 are cats. And there, so the rest are dogs actually. So we don't know the number for dogs. But if you want to get a number for dogs, you can simply subtract 10 from 24 and that will give you 14. So we have dogs with what? 14. Now, if an animal is chosen at random, find the probability that the animal chosen is a dog. So back to the same thing, probability. We know n of what? Dogs over n of the total pets. Now, how many dogs did we have there? We have 14 dogs. How many pets in all? 24. Now, at this point, you can simplify. So, seven go, sorry, 2 goes into 14, 7. 2 goes here as well at 12. Now, is there a number that can go into 7 and 12? No. So, the answer becomes 7 on 12. That is what our uh, option A. Alright, to the next. Now, Helly bought 45 candies and 35 chocolates for Halloween. So, for candies, we have 45. Then for chocolates, we have 35. Now, she would like to make equal basket of sweets. 
what is the greatest number of sweets baskets can okay what is the greatest number of sweet baskets can she make or what number of um, baskets can she make the equal number so the candies are 45 the chocolates are 35 all right so we are looking for the greatest number of baskets she can make now i've always told you that when the question is asking you the greatest number what is trying to give you a clue on is to use what the highest common factor or the greatest common factor so now a quick one let us find out the factors of 45 and the factors of so factors of 45 what are they we have 1 and 45 itself 2 no we have 3 and 15 we have 9 and 5 now factors of 35 we have 1 and 35 itself we have 3 no 4 no 5 we have 5 and then 7 so I think that's all so now of these numbers we have 1 3 9 5 15 and 45 1 5 7 and 35 we were looking for a number that appears in both the first and the second column so what numbers do you see that appears here at the same time appears here you want the greatest number so let's see 35 is here but it's not here so it's not out 7 is here but 7 is not in this out 5 you see 5 is here and 5 is equally here as well now you ask yourself is there any other bigger number than 5 that is in both 34 35 and 45 no so then, 5 is what's the greatest common factor. So what it simply means is that if you want to make equal number of candies and chocolates, you can make how many? You can make 5 baskets. You can make only 5 baskets. So that's with that. So 13. Darwin has seven red pens and then 21 black pens. He wants to arrange them in an identical canister. What is the greatest number of canisters he would need? So here to just do the same thing, factors of seven are seven and one. So factors of 21 are one, three, seven, and 21 itself. So what number is greater that appears here and here at the same time? So you have 7 here, 7 also appearing here. So you have what answer to what? 7. Next, there are 15 women and 9 men in a manufacturing plant. So we have 15 and you have 9. They are arranged in equal groups. What is the greatest number of groups they will have? So factors of 15 are 1, 3, 5, and 15. Factors of 9 are 1, 3, and 9. So what is the greatest number appearing here and here at the same time? Let's see. 9 is here, but 9 is not here. So 9 is out. 3 is here and 3 is there. So... 3 and 3 is there any other number no okay there is one but 3 is greater than 1 so we have 3 groups they can arrange them into 3 different groups 15 what is the maximum number of identical shares still a question on highest common factor that we need for to arrange 6, 12, and what 18. So we have for 6. 
factors of 6 are 1, 2, 3, and 6. We are for 12. Factors of 12 are 1, 2, 3, 4, 6, and 12 itself. Factors of 18, we have 1, 2, 3, 6, 9, and 18. All right. Now, let's look for the number that appears here, here, and here at the same time. But we want the number that is the greatest. So, let's see. 18. Is 18 appearing here? No. Here? No. 9. Is 9 appearing here? No. 9 here? No. 6 is here? Yes. 6 is here? Yes. 6 is here? Yes. 3 is here also throughout. 2 is here also throughout. 1 is there also throughout. But we're looking for the greatest number, the highest number. So in this case, the highest number in there is what? 6. So it tells you the highest common factor is 6. And thus, if you want to arrange them, you can arrange them into what? 6 shapes. Alright, so the next question, question number 16. Remember we bought 14 white candles. Seven red. And then 28 blue. If she wants them, she wants to arrange them in identical order. What is the greatest number? Twenty-eight. So let's find the factors of seven, fourteen first. Fourteen, we have one, two, seven, and fourteen itself. For seven, we have only one and seven. For twenty-eight, we have one, two, four, seven, and twenty-eight. Now, what number appears, what bigger number appears in all the three? We have seven. Seven appearing here, seven appearing here, and seven appearing here. So we can see seven boxes. Question number 17. 